There's the Tower of London and the Tower Bridge. Parents are in town. We popped over here on the boat. They wanted classic fish and chips and that, my friends, is easy to get. So we popped into here, the Trader's Gate, and gonna have some lunch. Beautiful day. Crossing London Bridge. Little baby, doing well. Mom and Dad, doing well, loving London. How do you like your fish and chips? Delicious. Now we're headed right across the bridge to Borough Market. Check that out. This all continues through here. Here's coffee. A man happy eating his ice cream. Just happy with just what he has. <laughs> Cute little place. Probably a little bored. Olivia's birthday. Thank you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. We just got out here, kind of on the edge of Soho. The Edition Hotel to check out Burner's Tavern, which I have been wanting to go to for a bit. And I am carrying my own birthday present and a change of shoes because I did not want to walk in Louboutins. This is a lot of walking, of course, but it's a beautiful night out, a little chilly, but London's been so gorgeous the last two days and I can't wait to see this restaurant. Okay, I know there are a bunch of watch people out there. In fact, Sam has shown me a whole like subculture of watch YouTube and it's actually <laughs> gotten me kind of hooked. I'm, I didn't think I was a big watch person, but almost the more you learn about it, the more interested you are in like wanting the quality and all that. So I hope this doesn't come off as braggadocious. I really am just so grateful because this is an amazing gift that my parents and Sam got me for my birthday. And um, I got a lot of questions on what size it is and everything. I did pick it out, I've got to be completely honest, um, and then my parents and my husband went in on it for me, and I thought I would just show it and um, say exactly why I picked each feature and like what it is, 
This is the one I had before and I am continuing to wear both. I love this, Sam got me this for our one year wedding anniversary. And it's the Jubilee band, I believe it's a 28 millimeter, um, the white face and two tone and I love it with a fluted bezel. I wanted something super different for this gift which is my 30th birthday gift and so I did the oyster band because it I think is more masculine. I still like the two-tone a lot, yellow gold. Um, but the oyster band is just like clunkier, which is I kind of wanted this watch to be clunkier. Obviously, it's a much bigger face as well. Um, this is a 36 millimeter, which I love. Black face, diamond time, date just, fluted bezel again. I really like the fluted bezel because see how it just catches the light. So yeah, I, I still wouldn't say I know much about watches like Sam really watches a lot of content on it and knows a lot about it and kind of has taught me about it. Um, but I do know that both of these were given by people I love so much and uh, I just feel so incredibly lucky to have these beautiful watches. I'm going to wear them so much. I hope to give them both um, to kids and grandkids and um, I just know a lot of people are very interested. So again, I hope this doesn't come off as bragging or whatever I just I think they're so beautiful and I so appreciate it and I know a lot of people are very interested in seeing different watches so yeah an amazing birthday gift um an amazing birthday night at the edition with my parents and this week has just been so incredible here it is on my wrist so you can see sizing again it's a 36 millimeter um ignore my spray tan stopping at my hand but I love the size, it's like big and it's something like chunky and big and I just am so in love with it. It's even better than I could have hoped for because it's just perfect. Again, I did pick it out, but I'm really grateful for my parents and Sam for giving me such a generous gift. For today's festivities, we have come to one of my favorite places in London, Greenwich. It's where the old Royal Naval College is, some great pubs, the Greenwich Market, which has all kinds of good stuff. So I'll show you all that, can't wait. Okay, look how beautiful. So it's now the campus for Greenwich University or University of Greenwich, I forget, but we love coming here. And it's right on the water. In fact, we can see our building. It's one of those. And we are going to find some lunch in Greenwich.
I'm coming with you. Where do Okay, good morning. It's Easter. It's the most beautiful, sunny, nice morning. And I wasn't sure if we were gonna make Easter church. We're running there now. 10.30 church, he woke up at like 10.10. .10. I was still in bed, I napped and he napped. So anyways, we got ourselves together. The point is to go at all. I was giving myself a lot of mom guilt about going because I just felt so bad if I didn't take him to his first Easter Sunday church and Sam's out of town, so it's all on me if we go. And I just don't want to get in bad habits. Of course, he won't remember this or know what the story is or know the songs. But I think if, you know, I want to bring him up with a Christian upbringing, I want him to start to feel how good it feels to be in a church. And honestly, I need it too. Um, I was just thinking as I was debating in my head, oh, we could watch online service. We could whatever. I was thinking, yeah, we haven't been in a minute. I would love to just hear hymns, be in a church hear the story of Easter and we're rushing and we're gonna be late but on this gorgeous day it's there's nothing to complain about here had a great birthday last night so much fun I'm so grateful for the friends I have here and um, it's been an amazing birthday week also just want to show how cute this area is where our church is it's a quick walk and it just takes us to this really quaint little neighborhood also, love how Wolfie's in his pajamas with a crab on it. It's nothing like tropical crab pajamas. Um, <laughs> just threw in these shoes knowing he'll take them off. And a little coat. But as I packed him a really cute Easter outfit when we were coming to London, you know, back in August. First of all, it's so tiny now. It's 12 months and he wears 18 to 24. It would never fit. But I love how when the actual day comes, you just do what works. And just so we can get there. Um, but I promise you it was a very cute outfit. Maybe next year I'll be more on top of it. I know a lot of moms feel like that. You plan for this stuff and then in reality, oh, sorry, sorry. We just gotta get there. very cool really glad we went I knew there wouldn't be a situation in which I thought man I really wish I hadn't gone to church today um, so just a good reminder we really need to go more consistently I know a lot of people feel that way but now we're just strolling gonna go grab some lunch so yeah it was an amazing birthday week we went to that um, Tatters Hall Castle which is a floating pub it's an old boat an old ferry boat that is now a pub on the Thames, it was so much fun. We went with a couple girls. We brought cupcakes, we had Prosecco. We took the boat to get there and had a margarita on the boat. We just had a great time. Birthday was amazing. I feel awesome about turning 30. I don't have any issues with that part. Um, 30 is the new 20, Wolfie. And on my Instagram, I did post 30 lessons I learned by 30. And check it out if you want to. I put it on both my Instagrams actually, because I've been kind of a nut for collecting quotes and quotations. And I've done that forever and I just keep them in the notes folder in my phone. And I just picked my 30 favorites. You know, it's certainly nothing that I've mastered, but it's lessons that I think are worth sharing. And 
it's just kind of something I've always done. I listen to so many like motivational podcasts like Jay Shetty or Ed Milet or guys like that. Wayne Dyer, RIP. I love anything he has done. So check that out on my Instagram. It won't be long. It should be the last post unless I get crazy and post tonight. But thank you guys for watching along for this fun birthday week with Sam's parents in town and my parents in town. And guess what? We have another visitor coming Monday. My dear friend, Marissa, I am so excited. She's coming to London. She's coming for the week. And on Tuesday, we're going to Barcelona. That's right. We are going to Barcelona. This guy's not coming. I'm leaving him overnight with a sitter for the first time ever. A little nervous about it, but I know he's in good hands. It's our sitter that we love here. So excited for Barcelona coming up. And the weather looks incredible. Our hotel looks amazing. I will post all of that. You know, a big Barcelona video is coming. But if you have any Barcelona suggestions, put them in the comments here because I don't have anything planned. We're only there two nights and we're going for Sam's game. They play a big playoff game in Badalona, which is like 20 minutes from Barcelona. Anyways, that's the update. Thanks for watching this week. Um, check out that post on my Instagram and tell me if any of those resonate with you too. And if you have any other advice as I enter this new decade. Thank you guys. Look, he's taking a line. Oh, hand.